video, I want to show you what a Japanese izakaya looks like. There are numerous izakayas in Japan, but the one I decided to show you is called Sakaba Shinatora. Sakaba means bar room, and Shinatora is the name of the shop. There are five Shinatora restaurants around Tokyo, and the one I went to is located in a station called Jiu Gaoka. Hey guys, I am here at an izakaya. Izakayas are Japanese bars where you can drink alcohol and eat some tapas food at the same time. In an izakaya, you would get something called an oshibori. It's basically just like a wet towel and uh, you can just wipe your hands with this piece of towel. You might see some old men or middle-aged men wiping their faces with this towel. Like so. But um, young girls don't do that, so make sure you don't do that. When you enter an izakaya, the first thing you will get is probably this thing called oshibori. In the summer, they give you cold oshibori, and in the winter, they give you warm oshibori. It's really nice that you can always wipe your hands, lips, and even the table with an oshibori. Here's what the menu typically looks like. The menu normally changes between seasons, depending on what ingredients the shop can get. There's normally a menu for drinks and a menu for food. In a lot of local izakayas, they only have Japanese menus. But don't worry, you can always ask for recommendations. You can use the phrase osusume wa, and the staff will be able to tell you their signature dishes. Normally, people start off with a glass of beer. You might hear some people saying, toriaezu biru. No, toriaezu is not a brand name. It means for the time being. Because so many Japanese people start off their night with a glass of beer, a lot of people use this phrase. But for some of you that don't want to end up with a beer belly, there's always an alternative. There's a drink called highball. It's whiskey with unsweetened soda and most commonly with a slice of lemon. Whiskies are low in sugar and it goes well with any sort of dish, whether veg, meat or fish, so a lot of people like drinking highball, including myself. And then there's usually a variety of sake, Japanese rice wine. Kanpai. When all your drinks are ready, you say kanpai, which means cheers. <laughs> Normally you would start off with a glass of beer, but um, so I started off with um, a glass of sake. Each dishes are pretty small, so you share all the food. If something is difficult to pick up with chopsticks, they give you a spoon so it's easier to get the food to your plate. <laughs> now you can see how useful an oshibori is. Okay, then we ordered this interesting drink called Sancho Sour. Sancho are Japanese peppers that has a unique peppery flavor. Sour is a type of drink that contains shochu, Japanese spirit, mixed with unsweetened soda. This Sancho Sour was not the best drink I've had in my life, but was quite interesting. It's always worth trying out new things. This drink right here is called Shiso Ume Sour. Shiso are Japanese perilla plants and ume are Japanese sour plums. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's pretty strong. And then we got some tempura. We got some corn and edamame tempura here. <laughs> and more tempura. So now we got some tempura uh, which includes white fish called hamo that's famous in Kyoto uh, wrapped around shiso leaves. Mm. 
It was really like really crispy. The outside is crispy and the inside is really soft. Mm. It doesn't taste fishy at all because of the shiso leaves and I believe the shiso leaves kind of gets rid of the fishiness in the fish. It's great. So here we ordered some Japanese pickles and this one is, um, they use the radish This one I believe is cucumber We still wanted some more food so we ordered niku tofu, literally meaning meat tofu The silken tofu cooked inside the sauce was so soft and nice Now we got some meaty dishes because we need that protein, right? Mm. It's so soft. It's really soft and juicy and it's got that sort of like the meat taste. <laughs> it's got that meaty taste. This dish, they call it grilled shabu shabu. Which is kind of like an oxymoron because um, shabu shabu, normally you would put the slice of meat in boiling water and cook it there But then they grilled it instead of boiling it So it's quite interesting, it's really nice though And you can see I've got my Asian flush I normally try to hide it with some foundation but um, it's not working today for some reason <laughs> Oh well <laughs> I told you I'm a lightweight We also got an egg roll not just a plain egg roll, but with some eel on the inside. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the video here before I get too drunk. Um, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos coming up. Bye!